talk about different workflow persona. Workflow persona help you to analyze who does what in a company. You can see here there are three workflow personas. First is Mr. Rohan who is a workflow developer like you or me. Then we have Sam who is a workflow administrator or business expert. And third is Maria who is a business user. Let's try and understand what each one of them do in a typical cloud workflow projects with VTPTP. So first of all, we meet Rohan. Rohan is just like you and me, who's a technical person with skill sets of ABAP, Workflow, and BTP, including JavaScript. This is the skill set which Rohan possess. What are the roles and responsibility of Rohan? So coming to roles and responsibility, the first responsibility of Rohan is to design and develop workflow before even that gather requirements create connections to the necessary system by maintaining destinations into sap btp design and develop workflows test these workflows take feedback from the business and adapt and publish new version he is a pure citizen developer who would typically have experience with programming languages like javascript and well versed with the concepts of workflows he should also know or interact with business consultant basis and administrators as well as business consultants to get the idea of the correct requirement and understand the system integrations to develop the correct workflow and use the right step types. This is what you and me typically do. The second persona comes is workflow administrator and business expert. This person have idea on BTP administration. These are the primary skills related to this person and have a very good idea on the business requirement. The, the main job responsibility of this person is to configure BTP account and entitlements and manage quotas, create connection with cloud connector. From the admin point of view, activate and assign roles, role collections to the developers and the business users. Gather the functional requirement and adapt workflows provided by standard SAP. Processes using process flexibility, which we will learn soon and also publish these processes, make them transparent to the business user and also use process visibility to understand and monitor business processes. Guide developers on business rule and requirements to develop custom workflows. These are the key areas of responsibility of an administrator. Finally, we have the business user, Maria. The business user will have just the understanding of the real business and use system. Job of Maria is more or less simple, but purely non-technical. Use the business process for day-to-day -day life to make their life easy. Use my inbox Fury app to react to the work items received. Manage and maintain substitutes. 
forward work items to colleagues if she is not supposed to take decisions. So this is what typically the end user would do, not require any technical responsibility. So depending on the correct persona, you will grant the correct role collection inside BTP. If you remember, the booster has granted all the roles, role collections to our user. So for end-to-end -end learning in this training, we have granted all the required roles to ourselves in the system. If I say take you back to the BTP account, you can see there are multiple role collections which we saw inside the sub account. And now you understand that why these role collections are named exactly same as per the user personas. So let me go to role collections. And you will see here we have all the roles workflow admin, business expert, developer. So these roles are now designed and role collections are automatically configured by the booster by keeping the personas in mind. So now we understand who does what inside the BTP account when it comes to management.